If you go to uh, all reports and you have mm -hmm. the team summary report, I always strongly suggest yeah. click on this button to create your own version of our report. This way you can see what we already have by default and you can see what else is available. So your team summary report can give you the channel count, the privacy, owners, members, guests, and the created date. It can also yeah. give you the team's ID, the standard and private channel count, their description, the, the associated SharePoint site address, but that's what it's going to give you. What's interesting though, is that you do get your owners, members, and guests, but you can still do some management from here. So see if I pick one or multiple, I do have access to view all the owners, members, and guests, so I can manage them from here. I can even do it a little bit more in bulk in the sense that I could go edit and then apply some transformations, which is not really great here, but mostly you can still add members, owners, and guests in bulk to multiple selections or remove members from actually members, owners, and guests, if you want, throughout those teams. 